Hello everyone, we are going to make a Roman numerals. Uh, we are going to convert Roman numbers to Arabic numbers. For this, we are going to use uh, create a new project console application, name it, and use create, and it appears this window with those. Uh, uh, name spaces or uh, or uh, classes and uh, it has a class program and uh, it program it uh, in the class there is a main method and we are going to use a string s equals y while s equal y you are going to use a console right now please enter a roman value uh, and we are going to have a string uh, r reading the nominal value as a string and we are going to use your value in decimal is roman underscore parse of r and it is a, another method we call it and we are going to ask do you, uh, do you want to continue yes or no and we are going to read the answer in S and it appear here in a loop. Now in Roman parse we are going to use a dictionary car and short and uh, call it lookup new dictionary car and short and lookup dot add m thousand c hundred L fifty X ten V five I one M thousand C big and uh, uh, uppercase and lowercase the same and int decimals is zero for int I from from zero less than Roman dot count. I plus plus if not look up contains key roman dot i incorrect uh, roman we are going to get an incorrect uh, error message if i equals roman count minus one if it is the last roman then decimals increments with lookup of roman dot i else if lookup of roman of i plus one bigger than lookup roman of i decimals decrements with lookup roman i else decimal increments with lookup roman of i and we are going to return the decimal and it is here um, it is here we are going to uh, have a return value and uh, We are going to, you can uh, pause and copy these code sources and then copy these sources and then copy these sources. Now we are running Control F5. M V M V I I X or I I X your value is thousand fifteen which is correct and uh, do you want to continue? Yes. We are going to use the C I 
x and the value is 109 and it is correct okay it was all in this tutorial see you on next tutorial